Hey there YouTube, Jack Blair here with a quick pickups video. Uh, don't want to take too long, but I do want to go over a few things that I picked up recently. And some of the cooler things that I really think need to need to be brought to light. I loved this game in the arcade, absolutely loved it, and the home version is not as great, but I uh, picked up Shadow Dancer. Revenge of Shinobi, The Secret of Shinobi, I apologize. Uh, in the arcade, it was a lot better. I love the idea of a ninja with a dog. Come on, it doesn't get much better than that. Picked up this game, Dark Sector, for the PlayStation 3. Picked it up for 5 bucks at EB Games. Was walking around, didn't really know what to do. Uh, picked it up, I played through the prologue and through, I think, the first couple chapters. It's not that bad of a game. Uh, for five dollars, five dollars is, is a meal at McDonald's. What I mean, I've got more enjoyment out of this than I thought I would have. So if you get a chance, try it out. The only thing that I will say about it, and maybe this is one of the reasons I like it, is that it does harken back to Final Fantasy VII. Now hear me out. The cutscenes go from in-game engine to pre-rendered, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I don't know why, but they do. And I find that kind of distracting and kind of cool at the same time. Moving on, I did pick up some Nintendo games. They're just uh, uh, Super Glove Ball and Wall Street Kid. Just because I wanted to have them on the shelf. I uh, went garage selling with my son, picked up some Xbox games, Ma main mainly just want to focus on two of them. Uh, the first three that I picked up were from Half Price Books, Metal Slug 3, uh, Mech Assault 3, and PsyOps, The Mind Gate Conspiracy. PsyOps I believe I'll be playing through again and recording, probably doing a review of like I did. This is the other game that came out uh, around the same time as Geist. Oh, and there's one more, but I can never remember what it is. But I played this game originally on the, the PS2, so I'm going to play through it on the Xbox, see if there are any differences, but I love that game. I picked up at a yard sale. Uh, Digimon Battle something. Rumble Arena 2. Picked that up for my son. This is in Digimon. Picked up Star Wars Battlefront 2 because it's a good game. And for my Halloween game, I picked up Fatal Frame 2, the director's cut. Now, uh, Crimson Butterfly also. Uh, I have never played a Fatal Frame. I have seen information about them. But I've never actually played one, so this is my chance to take a look at it. For the longest time, I have wanted an N-Gage. I have not been able to find an N-Gage locally, and I know I could just go to eBay and pay a lot of money, or they sell them on Amazon too, but uh, I saw this little guy and decided that he needed a home. Now this is the Neo Geo Pocket color, and I'm, if you notice the battery compartment, uh, which way, I think backwards, right there is kind of chewed up, but one of the things I have to say is that this screen, if you've never seen a game, if you've never... I don't even know how to describe how beautiful this screen is. It's just, it's beautiful. Uh, in my old eyes opinion, actually better screen than is on any of the Game Boys. And I'm actually really impressed that and I love this. And I know Game Straight is one has done a video of it, but, and I know there's no way you're going to be able to see that. Oh, I almost had it.
There you go. So there's the opening menu. But uh, I managed to pick up two games along with it. One, of course, you have to have a Sonic for your console. Sonic the Hedgehog Pocket Adventure. Fun, so far. Uh, this one I picked up because it was uh, just sitting there kind of all lonely and actually really cheap, uh, which is Fatal Fury First Contact. Now, if I can ever figure out how to actually get video of this screen, I'll go ahead and record this because it's a fighting game, Fatal Fury. But it's odd, and I can't remember. I know there's a name for it, and for the life of me, I can't remember it. Uh, I've talked to my buddy Adam, because he would know it, but I, it's a fun game. And I was kind of surprised that I sat there playing it. The weird thing, I mean, it's, take a look at Gamester 81's uh, review of the Neo Geo Pocket Color. I'll uh, throw a link. Yeah. Yeah. To go look at that video. But it was actually pretty cool. Two games that I got that I can't show you boxes of. Uh, one is on the iPhone. That's where I go. In case you don't know who that is. This is Scribble Knots. And it's actually a really cool game for those of you who don't have it. You should pick it up. It's now on the iPhone. It's been on DS for a while. Uh, this is the remixed version. The other thing that I got is that I've been playing around with On Live. I know a lot of people don't like it. I personally love it for one simple reason. The same reason I love having my music in the cloud and having it streamed down to me this is kind of like having my games in the cloud. It's where I just have, and I don't know where it is right now, this little guy. Little thumb drive. Put on live on here. Any computer I'm near, plug it in, and I'm playing any game that I bought on it. I'm all the subscription service, playing the demos. It's a fantastic idea, and I they had a deal where they sent out this, like, hey, we've got a great deal. Spend one dollar. One dollar and get a game on OnLive. Thought to myself, okay, I'll take a look around. I go on there, I look, and I find Deus Ex, Human Revolution. One dollar. And I'm playing it. And I love it so far. I just wanted to throw that in there. I also picked up a Nintendo 64. Now I know what you may be thinking. But don't you have like three of those things? Well, yes and no. Um, I actually picked this one up and sold off my other one. Because I got the orange one. Orange is my favorite color, by the way love this and in case you can see straight through you can see it's got the expansion pack which means I'm finally playing Perfect Dark Z Perfect Dark I almost said Perfect Dark Zero which I have the soundtrack for beautiful anyways um but I had to get it and I got it I also got the uh, orange controller that goes with it that's it as far as uh, what I picked up if you watched my last video, I updated part one of the creating a controller. Part two should be finished in a few days. We just need to get uh, the actual, it all assembled and cut, and then we'll be fine. Or cut, then assembled, rather. But need still in the measuring twice phase of that, because I don't want to screw it up and have to go buy a whole new thing. Um, I guess that's it for me. Uh, as always, thank you for watching, and... Play on.